I haven't really fallen in love before. It's the only time I know what love is, so I'm not gonna lie to you. Because all that time I was thinking in my head I was in love. I wasn't in love, I was just looking for some means of ex escape. Um, I'm older. Then it was just more of ex explore, to go and explore, an adventure. So I won't call it love, I'll call it some sort of game that had no definition. <laughs> Isaac, between you and I, when I met my husband, I, according to him and my sister-in-law, at the age of 14, I had no idea who he was. But I knew that somebody was always giving me chocolates from London and body sprays and all that. I would say thank you. I had no picture of what he looked like. Even when he came to say, marry me on the phone, I said, are you, who is this? I said, go away, marry you, which phone? Who are you? Anyway, so that's how I, I until I saw him, that was in, I saw him in November. I broke up with that man in October and I saw him in November, three weeks after. And my, he kept explaining to me, hey, you know now, you know, Chris Ann, you know those days I used to come and I said, what do you want? Because I used to, I probably, I thought that he was one of these men that would probably want a, a side chick somewhere, please, you know. He said, ah, he kept reminding me, right? I didn't take him, I didn't take him seriously until, he traveled back to Port Harcourt. And then my sister-in-law now, then my friend calls me to say that uh, the dad wanted to see me, my mom wanted to see me. I said, what's this whole scene for? I don't even, Grayson, where did you come out from? I've not seen it like in 10 years. So he said, Lisa, please, we just want to see you. I didn't think it had any connection to do with the man I'm married to today. And then I packed my bags and I went to see my mom. First of all, I went to, my mom is a, is a deacon in church and then she used to work alongside with, uh, with the canon's wife. So I went straight to her office in church and I saw everybody gathered there. I said, had somebody died? So when I came and all of that, that was how the marriage started though. There is nothing like a ceremony. <laughs> no dating. I'm dating my husband as it is. No sexual intercourse. Mm -hmm. My sister Elo called me on the phone that they wanted to see me. That do I remember Victor? Blah blah. I said, I don't remember. So he said, Oh, hold on, pass the phone. So that was how he just started talking to me on the phone. Hey, you know, he started telling him, talk, reminding me. I said, I don't know you. I don't know. I said, Can I talk to Grayson? Can I talk to my friend? I said, well, Grayson. He said, No, no, no. I want to remind you. I want to remind you. I said, Please now. I don't know who you are. What do you want? And then he said, Okay. He now came to Lagos to see me briefly. So I met with him in some restaurant. The reason why I had to go is because it's my friend's brother. That's why I left my comfort zone to go and see him. Is he still trying to juggle my mem memory as bad how many years ago? Over 30 something years ago. I said, I don't know who you are. You know, I don't know. He said, Well, uh, uh, have you thought about getting married? I said, I've been married before. He said, I know. But have you thought about getting married again? I said, What about you? You can't tell me at this age you have not gotten married. He said, I've not been married before, ever. I said, there's something wrong with you. At this age, you have not been married? And that was at that point, I just picked up my, I picked up my bag and I said, excuse me, I'd like to leave now. Thank you very much. So I left. He left and then that's how I got someone to come back home. <laughs> yeah. No, I just went to my mother's office. You know, my mother's office at the, at the cathedral. And I saw everybody gathered there. My mind, my mind, my heart first of all sank. Had I, somebody died or whatever, you know? And I said, I should sit, I sat down. I was looking at my mom. My attention was my mother's face, you know? And I greeted my father-in-law, then my friend's dad, now my father-in-law, and I said, I said, please, what's going on? He said, my mother said, <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> These people are here to see you. Do you know him? I said, no, who? I know my friend, yes, I know, I know my friend. I said, do you know the other? I said, and I looked at him. I said, yes, you know, my grand, that's when my father-in-law now laughed. And I said, um, my dear, we want to, um, I want you to be my daughter. The rest is history.